Okay. Let me go to this article here. New York City tenants say they were tricked into appearing in RNC video. I am not a Trump supporter, one of the tenants said, adding that she was furious that her interview with a government official was used for the convention. Right here, Claudio Perez left and Carmen Quinones appeared in a video that was aired Thursday at the Republican National Convention. It started with an unexpected call last week from Lynn Patton, a longtime Trump associate who oversees federal housing programs in New York. Ms. Patton told a leader of a tenants group at the New York City Housing Authority, the nation's largest, that she was interested in speaking with residents about conditions in the authority buildings which have long been in poor repair. Four tenants soon assembled in front of a video camera and were interviewed for more than four hours. Wow, that's a lot. That's like a, that's like a deposition with a lawyer. By Ms. Patton herself, three of the tenants were never told that their interviews would be edited into a two-minute video clip that would air prominently on Thursday night at the Republican National Convention and be used to bash Mayor Bill de Blasio. The three tenants said in interviews on Friday. I am not a Trump supporter, said one of the tenants, Claudia Perez. I am not a supporter of his racist policies on immigration. I am a first generation Honduran. It was my people he was sending back. The episode represents another stark example of how President Trump has deployed government resources to further his political ambitions. Ms. Patton is head of the New York office of the Department of Housing and Urban Development and under the Hatch Act is bad from using her government position to engage in political activity. Let me, let me stop right here because I used to work with the federal government years ago and that's correct. You can't, you can't use the office to be involved in politics, even go to certain things. I remember one time when uh, I first went to work at the airport Kennedy Airport, and uh, one of the bosses there said, oh, you know, there's a party, I think it was J Japan Airlines is having a party, and you're invited. I said, really? He said, yeah. I said, but isn't that against the rules that you can't, you can't be involved in, like, something, you can't take something, you know, and he said, well, no, there's an exception because this is, like, Christmas party, and, um, we all invited in the airlines they all they all through the, these parties so that was my first my first experience there the first year this was uh, many years ago so with japan airlines and around christmas time there were lots of parties you know japan airlines air france used to have their parties and a number of different airlines because you work with these people, you know, you see them, and they throw a party, and they didn't, like, just have the party among the workers. They also invite everybody else, so it was a lot of stuff, food, things to drink, so, so that's it. It wasn't like, uh, okay, you know, you come to my party, you do something for me, you make things easier, no. But see, this is, re this is very different. She's working with the housing, um, Department of Housing and Urban Development, which is hard. And uh, she's making a video, okay, with tenants complaining about the mayor, how he's running uh, NYCHA, New York City Housing Authority. Now, if that was for like in house and this was for, you know, for hard, then I think it would be acceptable. But what's so wrong about this is that this video was used at the Republican convention. That's not, that's, that's really illegal. <laughs> I don't care what they said. No, there are rules against that. You, you can't be using something like that 
and then be representative in a, in a commercial or video for one party or the other because HUD, HUD represents the United States of America serving everyone regardless of party affiliation. So it's not for them to come in and make videos and then, you know, edit it down to two minutes and put it in a, in a, in a party convention. No, clearly. That that's a, that's a violation of the law right there. So getting back here, throughout the convention, Mr. Trump has shattered the traditional boundaries between government and politics. And the video was aired on a night when the campaign took over the South Lawn of the White House, the first time that a major political convention has occurred there. The public housing clip was the second instance of the Trump campaign's misleading participants in an event involving the federal government that was filmed for the Republican National Convention. On Tuesday, the convention showed a video of five new American citizens being sworn in at the naturalization ceremony by Mr. Trump. Some of the five said they did not know that they were being filmed for a political event. And let me stop there again. There, there are people, who, um, immigrants, who actually ran out, <laughs> you know, to become United States citizens because they wanted, they were trying to beat the clock so that they can become citizens so they can vote against Trump because you see, Trump is very anti-immigrant even though his mother came here um from scotland i believe his grandfather from germany trump trump's family did not come off the mayflower you know when we go to school or we learn history we learn about that group of people from england who came in the mayflower and landed in what they call plymouth rock in massachusetts and this is back in the 1600s a long time ago you know, way before the American Civil War. No, Trump's family did not come here before the American Civil War. It started out in the in the late, a lot of part of the 1800s when his grandfather came here and his mother came here in the 20th century. So Trump himself is a newcomer to, his family is a newcomer to America. Two of his wives were not even born here. They were born in uh, one, I think, Slovenia, and one, I think, in the old Czechoslovakia, I believe. And even so, there was a law, 1924 Immigration Act, that disallowed anybody to enter the country except on merit, like if you're a doctor, a researcher, or so forth. And except if you were from like uh, Northern Europe, because they believe like Northern U European people have similar culture to white Americans. So the 1924 Im Immigration Act <laughs> remained in place all the way till 1965, right? So that was like 41 years later until the immigration law changed in 1965 under President Johnson when they opened up the immigration to allow people to come in like from countries like China and you know India and the Caribbean, Africa and so forth. Before then, if you if you came in from from India like um, Kamala Harris's mother, she came from India I think in 1959. The reason she came here was because she she was a researcher. She was well educated, and she could come in in that. The Chinese who came here during that time similar, except for of course Chinese who came in, you know, during the the 19th century, who worked on the railroads and so forth, and in the mines out west, like in California, Wyoming and so forth and then they had the Chinese Exclusion Act 
1882, the bad Chinese from coming in. <laughs> so after the Chinese worked their butt off, you know, building railroads and this and this uh, and, you know, connecting America for um, industry to carry goods. And they said, wait a minute, you know, all of a sudden the Chinese are unfit uh, to come here. Isn't that something? So they came up with the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882 to prevent Chinese from immigrating to America after the Chinese worked hard, helped build America. That was their payback, you know. No, no longer allowing Chinese to come in here. So, so this this immigration uh, law, you know. So I I can understand here what these people are talking about. You see, so let's get back to this. The four tenants in the public housing video were all interviewed on Friday by the New York Times. Three said they opposed Mr. Trump, and were misled about the video. The fourth reached late Friday said she was a Trump backer and knew the purpose of the video. Well, we don't know if that's true or not. Three others claimed they didn't know and she claimed she knows. And she had to be a Trump backer. In the video, the tenants raised concerns about conditions in the housing authority building, praised Mr. Trump's record on public housing and attacked Mr. De Blasio, Mr. Perez, one of the tenants, said in an interview on Friday afternoon that she stood by her criticism of the authority but was furious about being tricked into appearing in a video shown at the RNC, meaning Republican National Convention. Ms. Perez said she had been called last week by another tenant leader, Carmen Quinones, who said Ms. Patton was with her at the Frederick Douglass houses in Manhattan and wanted to talk to residents about the housing authority's performance. Only after the questioning ended were the four tenants told that the interview was for the Republican Party, Ms. Perez said, but she said she was never told that it was for the convention. See, even that is illegal. I mean, really, you know, whether it was for the convention or not, you cannot have a government officer, somebody paid by the government, whether it's federal government, state government, city government, making videos for political purposes. No, that's against the law. It's against the law, you know, whether it was for the convention or not. It's against the law. Ms. Perez said she demanded to see the edited version of the clip, but no one ever showed it to her. She added that Ms. Canones called her minutes before the clip aired on Thursday night to say that it was about to be shown. During the pandemic, Ms. Perez and Ms. Canones have helped to provide hundreds of thousands of meals to residents who would not have had food otherwise. One of the vendors who provided the food, a farming company owned by Muslims, called an associate of Ms. Perez on Friday and asked why she appeared in a video supporting Mr. Trump, Ms. Perez said. Tim Murtar, a spokesman for the Trump campaign, defended the handling of the video. All interview subjects were fully aware of the purpose of the interviews, he said. Lime Lynn, Lynn Patton was acting in her own personal capacity. Yeah, right. But that's illegal. Even if she were acting in her own personal capacity, you cannot, because remember, I used to work for the federal government, and I know. They tell you, you cannot engage in such behavior. You cannot use the federal government, you know, business, office. I cannot, you know, I could not at the time use a, a form in the office uh, for a particular party, you know, like make, call a few people up and say, you know, I want you to vote for this person. No, <laughs> I couldn't do that. That's illegal. Can't do it. 
Ms. Patton declined to be interviewed saying that she was traveling, but she issued a statement denying that she misled the four tenants, saying that they knew that the interviews would be shown at the convention to increase awareness of the inhumane conditions that Mayor de Blasio has allowed for far too long. Well, you know what, even if, even if they knew that's irrelevant, <laughs> That still has nothing to do with the issue that you, you're not allowed as a government worker to be making a video for the purposes of uh, one political party. What is to be shown at a convention or not? That's illegal, clearly illegal. And then they're trying to say she was acting on her own personal capacity. That's illegal. And um, I wouldn't be surprised if um, one of the federal groups that overlooked call for her to be fired because <laughs> that's not legal at all. Each participated regardless of political party because they recognize the importance of having a voice on the national stage and the undeniable improvements that have transpired under this administration, Ms. Patton said. Well, no, you don't you don't need to go on the national stage. NYCHA is part of the New York City housing. It's a local issue. Why you need to go on the national stage and have a voice? All you need to do is have a, a local forum, which people have complained about, you know, poor management, rats and rodents and so forth in the housing, uh, moles, walls falling apart ceilings falling down yeah that's all that's been all in the news that's true you know but this article doesn't say it, but they went to court and then uh the federal judge appointed uh like a master or what have you to oversee they came to an agreement with the city okay so they they can argue fair enough that yeah maybe you know, maybe this could have happened under a different administration, like maybe a Democratic administration, or maybe under uh, George W. Bush administration, and they didn't do it, so Trump decided to do it. Okay, fair enough, but at the same time, you can't you can't go putting that in a video in a, at a political event. Clearly illegal. Ms. Patton said that she has spoken with all four tenants on Friday, and that they were upset with the way the Times was twisting their words. <laughs> yeah, sure. In a separate interview, Ms. Canona said she talked to Ms. Patton on Friday afternoon and was uncomfortable with how she was being portrayed by the Times. She said she was disappointed that her words had been twisted to make it seem as if she were a Trump supporter. Hmm. Ms. Perez and a third tenant, Manny Martinez, said they had not spoken with Miss Patton on Friday and did not know what she was talking about. Miss Patton is a Trump family loyalist who before the president's election organized tournaments on his golf courses and planned his son Eric's wedding. She had little experience in housing policy before her appointment to HUD. In 2019, a federal agency found that she had violated the fa the Hatch Act. I right, see, that was uh, last year. Mm -hmm. They found out she violated, and she probably she didn't learn anything from them, right? Federal agency found she had violated the Hatch Act by displaying a Trump campaign hat in her office and liking political tweets. Though the agency did not recommend that she be disciplined, maybe this time they will. Ms. Patton plays an important role in oversight of the New York City Housing Authority, which includes more than 300 properties, some with thousands of units. They have long been a lifeline for working class tenants and have lengthy waiting lists for apartments. But over the years, their buildings have deteriorated and have been plagued by poor maintenance. In 2019, Mr. de Blasio agreed to accept a powerful monitor for the Housing Authority after a federal investigation. 
documented squalid living conditions and mismanagement. The one Trump supporter among the four tenants was Judy Smith, who was quoted in the video saying, I am grateful for the spotlight that President Trump is putting on New York City public housing. In the video, Ms. Smith also contended without providing any evidence that the de Blasio administration gave public housing preferences to undocumented immigrants. Well, that's not true. You know, there's no way you're going to get into public housing if you can't prove that you're living here legally in the United States. And that's a fact. In an interview on Friday night, Ms. Smith said she was pleased with the video. The Republicans gave pe people in public housing a platform to express their grievances, she said. I think it's lost and hard that uh, this is a political party. You know, when, you, when you're expressing grievances, it should be uh, a government agency you go to, not a political party. Or you go to your... Um, your political representative, like your congressperson, your city council, or, or what have you, the representative state level, those are the ones you go to. Or an official agency set up to hear agreement, not a political party. <laughs> Who's going to make a video of you and put it for people, you know, and put it on TV so everybody can see you complaining? Explaining how the video came about, Ms. Kinones, the leader of the tenants group, confirmed that Ms. Patton had reached out to her about assembling tenants to talk about the authority. But Ms. Kinones said she did not realize until the cameras started and the questions began that Ms. Patton had actually recruited the tenants for interviews for the party. Ms. Canona said she wished that she had been told in advance that the clip would be shown at the convention. She said she was a lifelong Democrat who plans to vote for Joseph R. Biden Jr. in November. She was interviewed on Friday as she marched in Washington at Get Your Knee Off Our Back Next Rally, sponsored by another Trump target, the Reverend Al Sharpton. When asked whether she was concerned about being misled, Ms. Canona said, it is what it is. She added that she decided to use the opportunity to highlight what she said were extensive problems in the housing authority under Mr. de Blasio. For me, this was not about party but for us to make the national stage, Ms. Canona said, they were the only ones that offered. My own party didn't offer. Ms. Canona said Ms. Patton had been a strong advocate for the housing authority. She said she supports the Democratic Party except for one person, Mr. de Blasio, whom she blamed for what she said were worsening conditions at the Douglas Houses in Manhattan and across the Housing Authority, which has 400,000 tenants. The third tenant, Mr. Martinez, said he was asked to take part in the meeting with Ms. Patton with little notice, but took up the opportunity to air his concerns about public housing. This was not an endorsement of Mr. Trump. He said, Mr. de Blasio did not immediately respond to a request for comment. But on Thursday night, his press secretary, Bill Neidhart, called the video a cynical attempt to pit black Americans against immigrants, a reference to the assertion in the video by Ms. Smith that undocumented immigrants have been allowed to cut in line to get housing before American citizens. It is wrong, Mr. Neidhart wrote on Twitter. After decades of disinvestment, Mayor de Blasio has made historic investments in NYCHA. But at least this much is true. The mayor lives rent-free in Mr. Trump's head. 
And that's it. And that's the end of that article.